Uh, for those of you, oh, my name's Cindy, y'all. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know that it is a miracle in and of itself and that God is at work because I'm standing up here uh, speaking and there's words coming out of my mouth. It's not something I ever thought I would do in front of this congregation. And I just thank you, God, for that I'm not nervous. And I know that whatever I say that you will use. And I just praise you for that. Uh, my story is about, we got to go to the church in the morning, the, uh, the church under the trees that y'all have heard so much about. Um, it was the church that we all um, chipped into also so that we could uh, build them uh, a building because they didn't have one. They were the church that flooded and they would have to go out in canoes there. And now they have an awesome, wonderful building on stilts that they, where they can worship God. Uh, going to, it was about a 45 minute drive there. There's a long, um, a long brown dirt road that was there. It was very rutted that first day when we were going there on Sunday when we were going to uh, meet them for the first time and, and worship there. And uh, I was praying as we were going. It's like, oh, God, we're getting closer and closer. You know, fill us with, with you so that we can share you. And I was getting a little nervous. And um, he did. He stopped us. We couldn't go any further on the road. It had rained a little bit before, and there was some uh, mud in the ruts. And uh, they thought we'd get stuck, so we got to get out and slowly walk in the wonderful heat and humidity that we came to dislike, but yet love at the same time. And as uh, we were walking and preparing ourselves to meet them, as we uh, started to round the corner, we could hear their precious, precious, sweet voices singing. And uh, so as we rounded that corner, they got to greet us, and we had time to just feel their love as we were walking up. Well, second and second day going there, uh, we also couldn't um, we couldn't uh, get in. No, we did. I think we no, we didn't. We also had to walk that day. Sorry, <laughs> only two hours of sleep. Um, but we also had to carry all the things. Thank God that had come in. So we had our crafts and things as we're walking down the road. Third day, um, some of us were not feeling so well. My stomach was a little torn up. I was taking medication. We had someone who took, Matthew took his malaria pill on an empty stomach. He was not feeling great. And we just weren't feeling wonderful. And I was, it was the hottest day yet. The humidity was really up because it had rained, you know, a little bit. And, um, and I remember asking, you know, you're really going to have to strengthen, um, me in order to get there. Well, he did even more than that. He had the van drive all the way in that day, which was a huge praise because I really don't think I could have made it, made it that day. Um, the next day, uh, it rained, praise be to God. And that was also the day, uh, my daughter, if you don't know, she usually sits with us over there. She is due August 3rd with her second child and uh, got news that she was dilated to a three and 70% effaced, and um, emotionally that was a little hard for me because I, being a mom, you know, I, I wanted to be there for my baby, you know, and help watch my granddaughter, and I knew I was where I was supposed to be. God and our, we had already had that conversation, but, um, you know, there were some tears, and I know there were so many praying for me, you know, and praying for my daughter Jennifer, and... Um, so I was a little more somber that morning, spending a lot of time in his word. And it was awesome because this morning before I came, I thought to look, just grab my notes thing. And uh, I wrote down the scripture that morning right before we got there. Hottest day yet. Um, I love you with an undying love. Uh, that was um, the scripture in Ephesians 6, 24 that God gave me. And does he ever not love us with an untying love. We had to walk that day, but th that was okay. We'd done it before. We knew we could do it again. As we were passing one of the huts, I, and I can't remember who was walking with me. We were a little ahead, and somebody behind yelled, they had a baby last night. There was a baby born here. And uh, normally, I let everybody else go first. I like to hang back, and I just kind of assess the situation and see who needs what. But I knew that this was a blessing for me this morning. I knew it immediately, and I was even saying, oh, God, what are you doing? What are you doing? And uh, we walked up, and the mom is laying on the slats, raised slats, and she immediately, bless her heart, so female, she's trying to sit up and prepare herself to see us. And as we're saying, no, please, please, but 
we got to hold that precious, precious little newborn baby. And uh, no diapers, of course, or anything there. They have a clean little square cloth that they put underneath their bottom, you know, to catch any, you know, anything and sweet, you know, a little pillow so that their heads don't get hot in your arms. And uh, I got to kiss that little baby and pray over that baby and pray that, uh, that God will, will let her know him and that, uh, that I will get to see her again, if not in Cambodia, but that I will get to see her again in heaven. And uh, I got to love on the mom. We got to give her ibuprofen, something for the pain. God bless her. And, um, and just, just pray for them and, and love on them. Uh, but yet as I walked away, I told everybody, it's okay. My baby girl can have her baby. God is going to protect her. He will be there for her. He will make sure and surround her with everything that she needs. And although she would miss me, that she would be well taken care of and, and she would be loved and, and no father's love. And, um, sorry, I got dry mouth. Um, and also the next day we got to drive all the way in because that was our goodbye day. And uh, God knew that it would be hard not only for us to leave, but for the children. So instead of them walking us down the road, which they would do when uh, we got to walk, we got to drive away. And uh, then we got to uh, stop at the house with, with, oh, I forgot the best, one of the best parts. I'm going to backtrack. As we were loving on the babies, they, uh, they asked us if we would name the babies. And... Uh, my awesome, wonderful team said, Cindy, you name her, because they knew where my heart was, and my heart was with Jennifer, and, uh, and we got to name that precious little newborn baby. We named her Grace, and then they asked us, there was a six-week-old baby who was still unnamed, and uh, as a group, uh, I forget who it was, but uh, we named her Faith, so there was sweet baby Grace and sweet baby Faith that we as a church got to name, praise God. And then uh, coming back um, that last day as our emotions of leaving the children, you know, the tears were just, we were just so full of love and pain. And we got to stop and um, they let me go up and uh, I think Shannon came up too. We didn't want everybody to get out of the van because we were scared the kids would catch up with us and it would, you know, it'd be hard yet again to continue on. But we got to go up and uh, and they invited us into their home, and we got to go up and, and pray for the mom and pray for the baby again, and uh, just leave you know some pillows and blankets and soap and you know just some th- some things to help the mom and the baby. But uh, we went over there thinking that uh, we were going to be giving so much, and uh, God gave us just as much back as He gave all of them. And I am just so thankful and so grateful. And I thank each and every one of you for your prayers. They were, every single one of them was answered. And uh, they left feeling very, very loved and knowing the love of Jesus by us going there. And we got to experience God's love, just seeing how every single time we asked him for a prayer, he gave us even more than we can imagine and more that we asked for. And that is our awesome and wonderful, powerful God. And I just thank him and praise him. And I got to speak to all of y'all.